Hey, call Hala, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for pushing 100% truth to rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Uh, this is Bakayar Amana. Um, put this up on my Mataza Lakam channel. Uh, it seems like everybody's forgotten, worried about uh, Kamala Harris or camel toe harassment. <coughs> you know, who uh, Judge Joe Brown uh, deemed a hoe when he was a young man and a, uh, and a defense attorney. Uh, hell, he was up here against this chick. And you motherfucking dumbasses out there are really want to try to put this prosecuting attorney, Kamala Harris, that hates blacks and Latinos in office? You want a woman to rule over you? You motherfuckers are insane. <coughs> Let's get... Uh, uh, Let's get to uh, Isaiah, uh, Isaiah, yeah, Isaiah chapter, Isaiah chapter three. Let's see if I can right. Verse twelve. NLT. Uh, a verse, I started verse 11, Isaiah chapter 3, verse 11. But the wicked are doomed, for they will get exactly what they deserve. Childish leaders oppress my people, and women rule over them. You really want these bitches to rule over you? Come on, man. Oh, my people, your leaders mislead you. They send you down the wrong road. Okay. Now, let's go back here to project 2025 now this is all uh if donald trump gets in office this is what the fuck he's pushing okay the presidential transition project <clears throat> is a political initiative published by the conservative think tank the heritage foundation in 2023 the project aims to promote conservative and right-wing policies to reshape the federal government of the united states and consolidate executive power under the premise that donald trump wins the 2024 uh, presidential election. It is the ninth iteration in the Mandate for Leadership series published since 1981. The project asserts a controversial interpretation of the unitary executive theory according to which the entire executive branch is under the complete control of the U.S. president. Okay. Did you, did you, did you catch that? The entire motherfucking government is under control of Donald Trump. Uh, that makes him Caesar. That makes him King Trump, right? It proposes reclassifying tens of thousands of federal service workers as political appointees in order to replace them with people loyal to the president. Proponents of the project argue it would dismantle what they view as a vast, unaccountable, and mostly liberal governmental bureaucracy. The project also seeks to infuse the government and society with conservative Christian values. Okay, here we go with the goddamn Christians, the anti-Christians, and, okay, the anti-Christians, anti you know, that says God loves everybody, the law is done away with bullshit, okay, and Yahweh Shai said in Matthew chapter 5, uh, verse 10, not one jot, not one tittle of the law shall pass away until all be fulfilled, right? The only law that was done away with was the law of sacrifice because Yahweh Shah became that sacrifice for the whole house of Israel and no one else. That's the reason why he's making these fucking projects and these uh, goddamn, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Department of Defense Directive 5240.01, which allows the federal government to uh, employ their military and add that into local and state law enforcement to come against the, uh, the United States citizens which abolishes the Posse Comitatus Act, which forbids that, that act strictly, okay? I mean, come on now, what the fuck? So either way, Donald Trump, this is all he's talking, this is all, his, whole, his whole thing. The project seeks to infuse the government with, and society with conservative Christian values. Critics have characterized Project 2025 as an authoritarian Christian nationalist plan to steer the U.S. toward autocracy. Legal experts say, have said it would undermine the rule of law, separation of powers, separation of church and state, and civil liberties. Okay? 
So it would bring together this church, the state, okay, and the civil liberties all together. So you might as well say it's King Trump and Pope Francis running the whole shit again. So there's no sense in you being a Protestant church if you call yourself a goddamn Christian because Christianity was based on Protestantism and Protestantism was based on uh, protesters that are against these very self-same messnicks, the separation of powers uh, of the and rule of law and the separation of church and state. This, okay, amalgamates church and state. So you're back under the, uh, the authority of the, of the Catholic Church all over again. So there's no sense in being a fucking Christian or a protester or a Protestant church member. There's no sense in it. Okay, it's the hypocrisy. Okay. Now let's go to this world. This word autocracy. Autocracy. Autocracy is a system of government in which absolute power is held by the ruler known as an autocrat. It includes some forms of monarchy and all forms of dictatorship, while it is contrasted with democracy and feudalism. Various definitions of autocracy exist. They may restrict autocracy to cases where power is held by a single individual or they may define autocracy in a way that includes a group of rulers who wield absolute power. Doesn't that sound like the World Economic Forum, the World Health Organization, uh, the Bilderberger Group, uh, uh, what you call it, motherfucking BlackRock, Vanguard, uh, the Council on Foreign Relations, the Club of Rome, right? Don't that sound like them? Hold on, let's go back. Includes a group of rulers who wield absolute power. What the fuck? BlackRock and Vanguard, they rule, wield, wield absolute power in commerce. If you got, if you buy a cheeseburger, they own it. If you buy a car, they own it. You buy clothes at fucking Walmart, they own that too. Okay, what the fuck? You better get, get real, wake up now. The autocrat has total control over the exercise of civil liberties within the autocracy, choosing under what circumstances they may be exercised, if at all. Governments may also blend elements of, of autocracy and democracy, forming an anocracy. The concept of autocracy has been recognized in political philo philosophy, uh, philosophy since ancient times. What's anocracy? Let's find out. Anocracy, or semi-democracy, is a form of government that is loosely defined as part democracy and part dictatorship, or as a regime that mixes democratic with autocratic features. Another definition classifies anocracy as a regime that permits some means of participation through opposition, uh, oppositional group behavior, but that has incomplete development of mechanisms to redress grievances. So if something goes wrong, Right, they they you have uh, two opposing forces, the Democrats and the Republicans, the plebeians and the patricians, like it was in Rome, okay, and there's there's no there's no uh, address of grievances caused by either group. They're just keeping you at each other's throats, like they're doing right fucking now. Right, the term semi-democratic is reserved for stable regimes that combine democratic and authoritarian elements. Scholars distinguish anocracies from autocracies and democracies in their capability to maintain authority, political dynamics, and policy agendas. Anocratic regimes have democratic institutions that allow for nominal amounts of competition. Such regimes are particularly susceptible to outbreaks of armed conflict and unexpected or adverse changes in leadership. See? Okay, now let's go back. Where was that? Autocracy, right? Autocrats maintain power through political repression of any opposition and co uh, co optation of other influential or powerful members of society. The general public is controlled through indoctrination and propaganda. So they want to indoctrinate you uh, into the order of Luciferian, the light bearer. And the only way you can get into that, into this new world order of light, a thousand points of light, the only way you can get in is to participate in a cashless society that they've set up, which is the image of the beast. 
the beast is Rome. The image of the beast is America setting up political repression of any opposition or co adaptation or of other influential or powerful members of society. Right? So in order for you to participate, right, the general public is controlled through indoctrination. You got to take and be a part of the uh, of society, this cast of society, with the visa, the the visa entry exit biometric digital identification tracking system that calls for a a microchip the size of a grain of rice implanted under your left hand between your index finger and your thumb of your left or right hand, or in your upper left or right shoulder. Or you could option for the Neuralink brain chip, right? That allows you to access the internet directly into your fucking brain, which allows them to control your brain, okay? Because that's a two-way street, dumbass, in case you haven't thought about it. And then, plus in addition to that, man, calm down, okay? All right, I'm just trying to get a point across. Calm down, man, all right? Now, my point being is that that's what these devils want to do to each and every man, woman, and child here left in America. Okay, let's finish with this aut autocratic bullshit. Okay, the general public is controlled through indoctrination and propaganda, and an autocracy may attempt to legitimize itself in the eyes of the public through appeals to political ideology, religion, birthright, or foreign hostility. That's all they talk about in the fucking news right now, ain't it? Okay, appealing to political ideology, either one, religion, Okay, because uh, mainstream media is, a fire, is on fire with religion. You have mockers and scoffers and you have people uh, putting out the truth and everybody's got their own idea of what they think, what the image of what God is supposed to be. You know, completely uh, forgetting that the Most High God is an omnipotent power and he controls the minds and hearts of men and does whatever he wants whenever he wants to to whomever he wants and there's nothing you can do about it. And he ultimately is in control of society, of all societies on the face of the earth. Okay? Now I can get biblical scriptures to prove everything I'm saying. As a matter of fact, I'll just go get them right now. Let's go get to uh, Job chapter 33 verse 14. Let's get that. For God speaketh once, yep, twice, yet man perceiveth it not in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon the bed, then he, who is he? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai whispers in their ears and terrifies them with warnings and makes them turn from wrongdoing. He keeps them from pride. Okay? He openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. Okay? So the Most High God controls you. Whether you want to believe it or not, don't give a damn. Let's go to Daniel chapter 4 verse 12. Is it, uh, is it 12 verse 4? Was it? Hold on. It was uh, 17. Salakia. Daniel 4 and 17 NLT. For this has been decreed by the messengers, and the messengers are the angels, right? Messengers in flames of fire, right? It is commanded by the holy ones, right? The, the apostles and prophets of old, so that everyone may know that the Most High rules over the kingdoms of the world. He gives them to anyone he chooses, even to the lowliest of people. And the lowliest of people right now are Esau eating the so-called white man, the Bible, the, the devil the Bible speaks of. Okay. Right? So let's get back to what uh, what else these devils are coming up with. Okay. Some autocracies establish legislatures unfair elections or show trials to further exercise control while presenting the appearance of democracy right did they uh donald trump he say they say he's, they stole the election from him right right unfair election only uh, only limits to autocratic rule the only limits to autocratic rule are practical considerations in preserving the regime autocrats must retain control over the nation's elites and institutions for their will to be exercised but they must also prevent any other individual or group from gaining significant power or influence. Internal challenges are the most significant threats faced by autocrats. 
as they may lead to a coup, a, a coup d'etat, right? Autocracy was among the earliest forms of government. It began, it began as despotism, which existed, existed throughout the ancient world in a form of chiefdoms or city-states and empires. Despotism, let's go look. Despotism, in political science, despotism, right, is a form of government in which a single entity rules with absolute power, right? Nazi Germany, uh, what's that motherfucker, what's his name, uh, 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 Adolf Hitler, uh, 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 Adolf Schubengruber, right? Who happened to be among one of those motherfucking Amalekite Khazars, the ones that calls themselves the JEWs, right? All right, let's see. Normally, that entity is an individual, that the despot as an autocracy, but societies which limit respect and power to specific groups have also been called despotic. Colloquially, the word despot applies pejoratively to those who use their power and authority to oppress their populace or subordinates. More specifically, the term often applies to a head of state or government. Ain't that what uh, Benjamin Nothing Not a Jew is doing right now? That Bolshevik... Uh, uh, Amalekite in this sense it is similar to the pejorative connotations that are associated with the terms tyrant and dictator okay that's that motherfucker dead on the nose ain't it okay now let's get back over here Project 2025 envisions sweeping changes to the economic and social policies and the federal government and its agencies. The plan proposes taking partisan control of the Department of Justice, DOJ, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, the Department of Commerce, the DOC, uh, the Federal Communications Commission, the FCC, the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, dismantling the Department of Homeland Security, the uh, DHS, and abolishing the Department of Education, whose the programs would be transferred or terminated. So they just want a nations of doers, not thinkers. Because if you think, that's the reason why they're not teaching our kids how to read and write in school, in case you haven't noticed that. You think I'm full of shit, ask your child to write their name. Ask your child uh, to read, uh, pick up a newspaper and read it. Give it a shot, see what happens. Okay. It calls for making the National Institutes of Health, the NIH, less independent, stopping it from funding research with embryonic stem cells and reducing environmental and climate change regulations to favor fossil fuels. Okay, so we're back to fracking. Okay, and causing earthquakes and shit. The blueprint seeks to institute tax cuts, but its writers disagree on protectionism. The project seeks to cut Medicare and Medicaid and urges the government to explicitly reject abortion as health care. It seeks to eliminate coverage of emergency contraception and uses the Comstock Act to prosecute those who send and receive contraceptives and abortion pills. It proposes criminalizing pornography and impersonating those, imprisoning those who produce it, removing legal protections against discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity, and terminating diversity, equity, and inclusion programs, while having the Department of Justice prosecute the anti-white racism instead. So, that's going to cause the famine of the word, right? Let's get it. Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Right? So, they're going to close all churches, too. So, T.D. Jakes, Geno Jennings, uh, 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 What's your name? What you call him? Uh, 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 O.J. Price, whatever his goddamn name is. Uh, 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 Creflo Dollar, uh, 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 the the one cracker down in uh, down in Texas. I forgot his name. Uh, uh, the famous white dude just talking about Jesus loves everybody. You know they had a, a, a shooting at his church uh, last year. I was it last year, the year before in 2022. Uh, Joel Osteen, right? Yeah. You can't church, you can't preach no more. It's all governmental shit. So you think these bastards, in order to keep their money, ain't going to stand in line to see if they can preach to the people on a government thing? Saying that, uh, and see, and, and like like I said based early in the, in, on the inclusion, they're going to have uh, indoctrination 
And the only way you can be indoctrinated into the new world order is that you have to pledge allegiance to Lucifer or Satan. And the only way to do that is to take the radio frequency biometric digital identification system, which is a, a grain of rice microprocessor imp implanted subcutaneously underneath your skin. That's the only way to participate in the new society through central bank digital currencies that they're setting up all the, the, the Bank of International Settlements is setting up for all the central banks in the world. Okay, that's what they're doing. This central bank digital currency, okay, Biden bucks, okay, and the Brits got their own so this way they could transfer money instantaneously at the speed of light. You see what I'm saying? If, if you've noticed, every time you do a credit card transaction, that credit side goes in right away. It doesn't uh, lag uh, uh, like 10 or 15 seconds like it used to. It's just boop, whoop. As soon as they realize the money's there, it's gone. Boom. This is the power that these motherfuckers will have. And if you're anybody like me or anyone else that, uh, that protests against the government or protests against the dictator, okay, through Project 2025, or the uh, Defense of De uh, Department of Defense Directive uh, 5240.01 Directive, they'll um, um, uh, put your ass in prison, right? Revelation chapter 2 verse uh, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, but for behold, the devil, right? Not some guy dressed in a fucking red suit with horns coming out of his fucking hat and a tail behind him with a pitchfork. Esau, Edom, the devil the Bible speaks of, like it tells you in John 10 verses 10, for the, for the thief, right, is he not trying to steal your fucking money? For the thief cometh not before to steal, kill, and to destroy. But I am come that they, being the hidden, the elect, the remnant seed of the house of Israel, may have life and have it more abundantly. Which is the whole house of Israel, eventually, at the end of days. Okay? But... Amos chapter 8 verse 12 and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east they shall run to and fro and seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it so you're not going to be able to find these videos okay online telling you the truth of what these motherfuckers are doing to you behind your back in your face smiling in your face and, and cutting your kidneys out and having it sauteed for breakfast okay that's what the fuck they're doing man you know, where do you think they're getting those embryonic stem cells from anyway? Aborted fetal tissue, goddammit. They're putting that in, as food flavoring in the food at the fast food restaurants, man. I got a sign out on, my, on, my, on the street corner where I preach every week that proves everything that you've got in your refrigerator, everything that you've got in your, your kitchen cupboard is on that sign. And all of that extra flavoring uh, and all of these, these extra chemicals is uh, based off, uh, off of uh, stem cells and aborted fetal tissue to give the shit flavor, man. They put food coloring in it. The shit ain't real, man. The shit that we eat here in America, as far as food that's defiled, okay, is illegal in other countries. It's illegal to buy or sell that shit in other countries, man, because it's not healthy for the people. It's illegal, man. G fuck it. Google it yourself, right? Real talk, man. Revelation chapter 2 verse 9 or verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer for behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. Right? Now didn't it say that's what they're going to do? And they're going to come against and have the Department of Justice and the FBI and all of the different institutions that I just named not uh, uh, within a minute ago to come against those that are uh, uh, that are against white people, we're not against white people. We're against Edomites. There's a difference. White people doesn't exist. Okay. Edomites became white people in 1681. Okay. Before then, there was uh, white people didn't exist. There was no such thing as a white person. You can do your own research. I strongly suggest you do it before they shut down all the information out there. Okay, and the only way you'll be able to access it is with the radio frequency identification microchip, the beat, the mark of the beast, the size of a grain of rice underneath your skin, and then the information that you have is limited. 
If you try to go find something, they're going to say access denied. Then you're going to receive a telephone call. If you still have a telephone, why did you look on this on this website? What are you looking for? Okay, then they're going to punish you by taking the power out of your hand. What's the power in your hand? Digital currency, universal basic income. Okay, take it off your motherfucking chip. They can uh, tax your chip for if you got back taxes, uh, like me. That I'm still on a payment plan with that shit. You know, they just take it out your chip digitally. So fuck it, it's time to come the fuck up out of the way out of Babylon and depend wholly and solely on the Most High God, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the creator of the heavens, the earth, the sea, all that is therein, and the foundations of water. Shit, you ain't got a choice. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. Right? What's the prison? FEMA camps. Federal Emergency Management Agency camps. Green zones, detention facilities, right? There you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation 10 days. And that's just a, a, an amount of time that you're going to be in there. And it's up to the Most High God to release you at that time. But nine times out of 10, if you get out of a FEMA camp, you got to be chipped. That's the only way that way you can participate in society, and they can keep track of your movements. Because if the reason why you're in that fucking FEMA camp is because you came against the goddamn government in the first place. Autocracy, remember? Project 2025, anocracy, remember? Democracy, remember? They want to amalgamate all the power and give it to one person, remember? Okay. But be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Right? Let's go to Psalms. Who was it? Uh, no, I think it's 37. Uh, but we'll, well, right? Psalms 32 and verse 1. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. And the only sin, uh, the only people whose sins are going to be covered are the elect. Those that were predestinated for salvation here in these last days. The hidden ones that are currently not aware that they're Israelites of the Holy Bible. That are willing to fear God and keep his commandments. Which is the whole duty of Israelites and men. Right? Because there's three types of people on the earth. You have the sons of God, which are the elect of the house of Israel. Then you have the sons of men, which are the heathen nations. And then you have the sons of perdition, the children of wickedness, the Edomites. Okay? Verse 2. Blessed is the man whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Right? Ver, uh, NLT. Psalms 32, verse 2. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in and complete honesty right okay when I refused to confess my sin my body wasted away and I groaned all day long day and night your hand of discipline was heavy on me my strength evaporated like water in the summer heat finally I confessed all I confessed all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide my guilt I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord, and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. Therefore, let all the godly pray to you, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, while there is still time, that they may not drown in the floodwaters of judgment. Okay? Okay, let's go to Psalms 36. Verse 1, the transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of God before his eyes. Right? For he flattereth himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He hath left off to be wise and to do good. Right? Is this not what these Edomites are doing? He deviseth mischief upon his bed and setteth himself in a way that is not good and he abhorred not evil. Okay, NLT. Sin whispers to the wicked, 
deep within their hearts, they have no fear of the Most High God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, at all. In their blind conceit, they cannot see how wicked they really are. Everything they say is crooked and deceitful, right? It's not Project 25, a crooked and deceitful ideology, right? It says in Psalms chapter 2, same thing. They refuse to act wisely or do good. They lie awake at night hatching sinful plots. Their actions are never good. They make no attempt to turn from evil, right? Let's go to uh, Psalms chapter 2. Salakia. Psalms chapter 2, verse 1. Why are the nations angry? Why do they waste their time with futile plans? Right? Is this not a futile plan, Project 2025, and then the, the uh, De Department of Defense Directive uh, 5240.01 that allows the, the, and both sides allows the, the federal government to come in and act as law enforcement over the people against the United States citizens or divided state citizens, however you want to look at that, right? The kings of the earth prepare for battle. Is this not happening right now? You got video, a video that I'm going to put up on my channel uh, about all the th different nations' thermonuclear weapons that they're going to send over here to Babylon the Great, America, to burn this motherfucker down to the very mantle and melt this place. This place, as it is written in Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 18 through 22, is the great furnace. Okay, this is the furnace where the Most High God said he will leave you here and melt you if you do not turn back and repent, right? The kings of the earth prepare for battle. The rulers plot together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Who is the anointed one? Yahweh HaMashiach. Who is the living representation of his anointed one on the earth since his departure into the heavens when he ascended upon high? As it is written in Acts chapter 1, verse 6 through 9. Huh? Yahweh HaMashiach whom, you ignorant, whom the world ignorantly calls Jebus crossed. Okay. Let us break their chains. They cry and free, they cry and free ourselves from slavery to the Most High. But the one who rules in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. Then in anger he rebukes them, terrifying them with his fierce fury. Right? For the Lord declares, I have placed my chosen king on the throne in Jerusalem, a people before it's a place on my holy mountain right today I have become your father this is a message to Yahweh Hamashiach ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession right that's also to the elect as well because Yahweh Hamashiach said that's what he was going to do and he prayed for the elect of the house of Israel you know not for everybody Let's see if we can find that. John 17, I think it is, ain't it? Right. John chapter 17, verse 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. See, so the Most High manifested the name. The Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai Nebuchadnezzar did this back then, and now the Comforter through the Holy Spirit, through the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and other righteous men, through Abba Vibbins, as it is written in, uh, I think it's Jose, chapter four, verse five. Okay. That the uh, the sons were turned back to the fathers, unless they uh, unless the Lord smite the, uh, the 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 earth with a curse, right? And now they have known all the all that all things was of the soever thou hast given me are of thee, for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them thou hast given me, for they are thine. All mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Right? 
And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Who is the son of perdition? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the devil the Bible speaks of. Okay? So these motherfuckers are screwed, man, and they know it. It's just a matter of time now. Right? Psalms 37. NLT, verse 1. Don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong. Right? For like grass, they soon fade away. Like spring flowers, they soon wither. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiant, radiate like the dawn. And the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Soon the wicked will disappear. Though you look for them, they will be gone. The lowly will possess the land and will live in peace and prosperity. The wicked plot against, plot against the, the godly, and they snarl at them in defiance. But the just Lord laughs, for he sees their day of judgment coming. The wicked draw their swords and string their bows to kill the poor and oppress to slaughter those who do right. Right? KJV, the wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay as such as be of, be of, of upright conversation. Right? And this is what these devils are out there doing, man. Psalms 37, verse 27. Turn from evil and do good, and you will live in the land forever, the land of Israel. Right? For the Lord loves justice, and he will never abandon the godly. He will keep them safe forever, but the children of the wicked will die. The godly will possess the land and will live there forever. The godly offer good counsel and they teach right from wrong, right? That's what the men out on the street corners preaching the word at 100% truth from Great Millstone out there street, uh, preaching the truth at 100%, right? They have made the Most High's law their own so they will never slip from his path. The wicked wait in ambush for the godly, right? But the Lord will not let the wicked succeed or let the godly be condemned when they are put on trial. Boom. Right? Now, let's go back. They want to bring against you. The plan proposes uh, Project 2025, taking partisan control of the Department of Justice, the FBI, the Federal Communications Commission, the FTC, the Department of Homeland Security, the National Institutes of Health, do away with Medicare and Medicaid, right? Reject abortion. Destroy uh, uh, emergency contraceptive contraceptives, abortion pills, criminalizing pornography. Uh, dis, uh, criminalizing or sexual orientation and gender identity, diversity, equity, inclusion, right? And prosecute anti-white racism instead. The project recommends the arrest, detention, and mass deportation of illegal immigrants. Is this not the platform that Donald Trump is talking shit about, but he says he's not going to do anything that has anything to do with Project 25? The motherfucker's a hypocrite. He's telling you a lot of your fucking face, and you're eating it up. Okay? The project recommends the arrest, detention, and mass deportation of illegal immigrants living in the, U in the U.S., it proposes deploying the military for domestic, for domestic law enforcement. Okay, that puts that puts the doom uh, to the uh, that puts the end to the Posse Comitatus Act, right? Okay, it promotes capital punishment and the speedy finality of those sentences. 
It hopes to undo almost everything implemented by the Biden administration. Right? So watch out, man. Either way, as far as democracy and the eagle on the left hand, they want to put your ass and have uh, the military propose deploying the military for domestic law enforcement. Okay? And on the right hand, on the right wing, okay, uh, Republicans, they propose deploying the military for domestic law enforcement. And, and they promote, they both promote uh, capital punishment, which is uh, decapitation and guillotines in the FEMA camps. That's the speedy finality of those sentences. Okay? They'll put you in there for a guillotine. Right? So anyway, I just had to let you know that's what's going on with this Project 25, uh, 2025 that Donald Trump is on. And uh, uh, Kamala Harris is doing the same thing. They're just uh, calling it by another name. All praises to him, the Most High, Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, Hamashiach, Shalom.